Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2021. I'm doing the variant 2 1. You have been supplied with the following source files. I have copied the files to my working folder here. Task 1 Evidence Document. We need to prepare an evidence document. The evidence document is given to you. Make sure your name, sender number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. And you need to save it as evidence followed by your candidate number. So, this is the evidence file. Let's insert a header. Give your name, center number, and candidate number so that it appears on all pages. Now let's save this inside your working folder as evidence followed by your candidate number. So whatever is your candidate number, you can enter. Make sure it is saved as Word document. Task to document. We are going to do document production. We are going to edit a document about exams. Using a suitable software package, open the file examinfo.rtf. The page setup is set to A4, landscape and margins are already set. Do not make any changes. Three paragraph styles have already been created. Do not make any changes. Save the document in your work area with the file name exam guide. So this is the file. You can see the page layout is set. You need, you need not change anything. Also, some of the styles are given here. That also need not be changed. These are the styles already uh, defined, body, table, and title. So we don't need to change anything as of now. Let's save this. Save inside your folder. The name of the document is exam guide and it must be saved in the format of the software you are using. So we are using Word document. So save it as Word document. Save. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure that there is evidence of the file type. So this is the file which we have saved, make sure it is Microsoft Word document. You can take a screenshot of this. That will be your evidence one. You need to paste it inside your evidence document. Step two, place in the exam guide document a central line header with automated page numbers. So insert header, you can choose this one, but remove the text from the left and right since we have only a central line header. So remove this. Here we need to insert page number, automated page number. So you can choose current position, insert page number. From the left side also, remove the text. A write a line footer on a single line with the text produced by produced by followed by a space, then your name, sender number, and candidate number. So same way we need to insert a footer. It's write a line. So we need to type the text produced by. Your name center number and candidate number. Make sure all alignments match the page margins. No other text or placeholders are included and it is displayed on all pages. So you can see it on all pages and all the alignment is set. Select the subheading general and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending the evidence provided. So we need to find the paragraph which ends with this text. So first let's find that paragraph. You can go for find option. 
just type the word here. So this is the paragraph which ends with evidence provided. So we need to select from the subheading general, that is this one, till evidence provided. We need to select, change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a two centimeter spacing. So select the required text. Now go to layout, columns, more columns. Select two columns and the spacing must be set to two centimeter. It is already of equal width. Give OK. Apply a bulleted list to the text from mobile phones to enable electronic devices. You can see these are the text for the bullet point. So select this text. We need to apply bullet points. Format the bullets so that the bullets are intended 2.5 centimeters from the left margin. The list is in single line spacing with no space before or after each line. So right click paragraph. So here indentation before text you have to give 2.5 centimeter. And it must be single line spacing with no space before or after. So here you need to set it to zero. Give OK. There is a six point space after the last item in the list. So select only the last item. Right click, again paragraph. You can set six point after. Locate the table in the document, delete the entire row and contents for the subject business unit 1. So this is the table here. To identify the items for the time being, let's give the border. So I'll just select the table, give all borders. Delete the entire row and condense for subject business unit 1. So business unit 1 you can see here. Select this row. Right click. Delete cells. Delete entire row. Sort all the data in the table from math paper 1 to combine science paper 3 into ascending order of exam date with data integrity maintained. So select the data like this. Go to table layout. You have sort option here. You need to sort according to the, you can specify header row is there. So this will be acting as the header row, subject exam date, session and duration. Now select exam date here and ascending. Give OK. So it is sorted according to the exam date in ascending order. Apply to the table a 0 0.5 grid lines to all cells, 3 to 4 point external black borders. So select the table. Go to borders and shading. You can choose grid so that there is an outside border and also a grid line here. So the outside, the width of the grid is half point, 0 0.5 point. And for the outside border, the thickness should be 3 to 4 point. Give OK.
give three points for all the outside border. Keep okay. Format the first row of the table so that it becomes a single cell. The text in the cell is centrally, centered vertically and horizontally. So this you need to merge. So right click, merge cells. Now make sure it is aligned vertically and horizontally. So go to table layout. You can choose this option. So it will be aligned both vertically and horizontally. It has a light gray 20 to 40% background fill. You can go for shading here. Choose a gray. This is 25%. You can see when you keep the cursor, the percentage will be shown. So you can choose this. Apply the X table style to rows 2 to 12 only. So from row 2 to 12, select this and apply the style EX table. Format the table so that all text in each row displays on one line. The table borders and all data fit within the column width. There is a six point space after the table. So select the table, right click, you can go to auto fit, auto fit to contents. So now you can see all the text are on one line. And all the grid lines are visible. Now we need to make sure there is a six point space after the table. So in order to do that, I will select the paragraph after the table and then Go to paragraph. I'll give a six point before that paragraph. Give OK. So there will be spacing after the paragraph. Create and store the following style basing it on the default normal paragraph style. So we need to create a new style called X subhead. So let's create it. Go to styles. You can see create a style X subhead. Go to modify. It should be based on normal or default paragraph style. So select normal here. It should be sans serif 18 point central aligned. Sans serif means Arial. Arial is an example of sans serif. 18 point central line. Bold underline. Single. And the spacing is 0 before and after. So bold underline. For setting the spacing, go to format, paragraph. Single line spacing. Before is 0. After is also 0. Give OK. Take a screenshot to show that you have defined the settings. So you can take a screenshot. Give OK first. OK. That is your step 11 evidence. Now, since my cursor was in this paragraph, the style has changed. Just make sure it is the X body style as the other paragraph. It was X EX body style. So just select it. And make it as it was given before. This was removed. I have given the 
spacing it. Next, identify the four subheadings in the document and apply ex subhead style to each one. So there are four subheadings. One is general attendance exam room and special arrangements. You can select one by one or select all together and then set it to X subject. In the last paragraph, locate the text results nomination form. Format this text so that when clicked, it opens the document with the file name results.rtf. So in the last paragraph, We have the results nomination form here. So select that phrase, right click, click on link. Now you should link it to the, the file results.rtf. So this is the way you should do it. Take a screenshot showing the text results nomination form links to the correct file. So you need to take a screenshot for this. Take the screenshot of this window. You OK here. You can paste it here as the 13 index. So if you can proofread the document, make sure the list and table are not split over columns or pages. You can see the list is not split and the table is also not split over pages. There are no widows or orphans. In order to make sure there are no widows or orphans, you can just select the complete text, right click, paragraph. We have line and page breaks here. Make sure widow orphan control is ticked, give OK. So if any widow or orphan is there, it will be removed. There are no blank pages. The original styles are maintained, spacing is consistent. So we don't have any blank pages and all the spacing is consistent. Save the document using the same file name and format used in step one. We have already saved it, so you just need to Save once more, print the document. So you can print it by going to File, Print, and select your printer and click on the print option. So this is the end of the document production. Next is database task. This will be done in another video. Thank you for now.